Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in again to Live Music's Live Wire. Bob Sanchez here, and we are lucky with us to have back Mr. Mike Shepard with the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame, because now, as we prefaced in that last episode, he's got the book coming out. Well, the book is out. Available for you to have yourself. A great coffee table book, a book full of information in paperback to save a little money, and a CD available. Good Rockin' Tonight. It kind of chronicles Louisiana music, which is what is the, the backbone in the history of rock and roll. So, Mike, welcome back. Tell us a little bit about what you got going. It's exciting. The stuff is out now and ready to go. Well, the first time, that's where they sent me, and I said hardback. Mm -hmm. That's the second try. Okay. Well, the second try obviously is working out, but the first try is not a bad thing to have either. No, and considering that's half the price of this. Well, there you go. Everybody can get a copy of this. This makes a great coffee table book and a hard copy for anyone that has interest in Louisiana music and a little bit of the history of what goes on here. This is a must-have. And if you can't quite spring for this one, the paperback side is excellent because it's all the same book, all the same information, exactly. all the great pictures. It's tremendous. And also the CD, Good Rockin' Tonight. This chronicles a lot of the very music they talk about in here. And it's right here for your enjoyment. This is actually a history lesson. Well, there you go. Should have been Professor Mike all along. No, it's, it is a history lesson. I thought about it while I was making it. I said, you know, this is sort of the history of rock and roll. That's what I called it. The true small h, small i, capital S-T-U-R-Y. History. Mm-hmm. Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And I almost did a book for LSU years ago. They were going to pay me two years' salary to write them something that's never existed. Mm -hmm. There's never been a book in the Library of Congress archives titled History of Louisiana Music. No such thing. Never happened. Well, it should be because the wide variety of music we have here. It's kind of like unlike any place else. And there, there's wonderful music from a lot of places, Chicago, Memphis, New York. They all have their character, uh, Texas music. But Louisiana has such a broad variety. You've got French, you've got Spanish, you've got uh, rhythm and blues, you've got Cajun, uh, country, some basically that all evolved into rock and roll. And, of course, jazz came right out of New Orleans and went up the river from there and spread around the world. So this is something that well, that's the we'll point bring us all about. The point of this disc, Bob, if you look at what's on it, <clears throat> these songs are all New Orleans artists. Mm -hmm. And these songs all had something to do with creating rock and roll. In New Orleans, or the House of the Rising Sun, mm -hmm. in Midnight Special mm -hmm. with Lead Belly, mm -hmm. in the teens and 20s, that started it. Mm -hmm. He's the great granddaddy of yeah. rock and roll. Absolutely, and he's he's considered, uh, quite frankly, the the father of all the folk guys all yep. through this country. People like Woody Guthrie and Pete uh, Seeger. Pete Seeger. All these people that came about. Lead Belly was the 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 starting inspiration for the ball in so many ways. Yeah, he is. You know? He is also considered the father of mm -hmm. folk music. Yep. But I think it's more important. He's the the granddaddy of rock and roll well that's because the blues became rock and roll when you get right down to it but jazz also came out of that particular tradition well i was going to say a minute ago if you look at some of the songs on here um hey good looking mm -hmm. hank williams hank williams that's rockabilly mm -hmm. yep which became rock and roll mm -hmm. it, it it all goes into it dave bartholomew is my ding a -ling. Mm -hmm. Well, Chuck Berry had a huge hit with that one, too. And Dave sued him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. Got his money back because he put his name on it. It's Dave Bartholomew's mm -hmm. song. Well, that's uh, that's all for the legal eagles. And, well, no, uh, he won. Yeah, well, Hands of course down. he won. It was his. <laughs> that, that was done with a jazz band, mm -hmm. a jazz swing somewhere mm -hmm. in the middle. Yeah. Uh, Jump Job and Whale, Louis Prima, Laudy Miss Claudy, Tootie, Tootie Fruity. See you later, Alligator mm -hmm. by Bobby Charles. There you go. There's well, you know, so much Louisiana music that I hear you made rock and you know, roll. Louis Prima. Now, he's a guy who came out of New Orleans, 
but uh, was famous in New York and Las Vegas for years. Even made it into Walt Disney movies. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's uh, King Louis. Yep, he was. He was uh, a character as well. He's somebody that, uh, if you're not familiar with him, you owe it to yourself to become familiar with him. Coming out of New Orleans, he was a, an entertainer par excellence, not to mention a great musician, too. So this is something that well, I, I'm sure you've got some information covered here. You know what? Here. On the cover here, mm-hmm. either cover, that's Mahalia. Mm-hmm. Mahalia Jackson. Gospel. We didn't people, even mention that a minute ago. People ask me all mm-hmm. the time, well, she's not from Louisiana. Where's she from? She's born and buried in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. She is Louisiana. Well, they have the Mahalia Jackson Theater down in New Orleans. Yeah. And that will be there forever. Yeah. You know? And as we covered in the last interview we had, we talked about, uh, you know, Congo Square down in New Orleans. Right which next was to a, the Mayor Jackson, Jackson Theater. Theater. That's where a lot of this came out. That's where it all the, started. Uh, from the slave days into the slave hollers that became the blues. These guys played and brought music out, and everybody adapted to it, enjoyed it, and it, it spawned an entire new way of looking at music. That's which because we are blessed they brought to have here. the music from the slaves from Africa, mm-hmm. the Canary Islands, the Caribbean, mm-hmm. they all were there. Mm-hmm. They all had certainly percussion instruments, mm-hmm. indicative every tribe, mm-hmm. every, every country that had them. They had uh, wind instruments, flutes, mm-hmm. all kinds of things. And they played together every Sunday. The slave owners let them recreate every Sunday. And at first they took turns with, okay, your guards can work this Sunday. Mm -hmm. Your guards will work next Sunday to spread the load from the Mm -hmm. plantation owners. And eventually somebody in New Orleans said, look, we don't need the guards. They're not going to go anyplace. They just want to have fun and make music. So we quit having the guards. And they made this place where they were doing it and called it Congo Square. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, that's like a early jam sessions, you might say, like they have now. If you have an open mic night somewhere in your town and you find guys that get up there and just jam and have a good time, it owes its roots to those days right there. Well, and what you were talking about is that led directly to the mix mm-hmm. of everything. That was the gumbo yep. in Congo Square. Mm-hmm. And you had horn players that learned different horns and learned to play a percussionist, and, of course, the Europeans had pianos and harpsichords. Mm-hmm. It, it all worked together. And the gumbo, just like we have great gumbo down here, whether it be seafood or the earthy sausage and chicken gumbo, <laughs> it all comes together, and it's, it's better together than apart. And that's something that we do have down here, and we can celebrate it. So, Mike, this book that's come out, how much is the hard copy? The hard copies sell for 60 Okay. And you, yeah, you, you can say more about mm-hmm. the pictures. There's mm-hmm. two hundred and something pictures mm-hmm. in there, and they're they're unusual and great. Oh yeah, they all. Uh, we we looked at those the last time you yeah. were on. Tremendous pictures. <clears throat> so that makes a soft copy thirty. Thirty. And, and how about the CD? The CDs run twenty. Twenty. Okay. And I'm, I'm discounting these soft copies because I didn't order them. But yet I had to pay for them anyway. Well, surprise. That's the way things tend to work out. So tell me, where are these going to be available? You got a website or you have an email address? There you can go to the, the website. That's the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame. Dot org. Dot org. Or LMHOF. Dot org. LMHOF. Dot org. Certainly contact him there. and uh, You can catch me on my email. Mike at LMHOF. Dot org. Okay. Now there will be some book signings. You, I know you already had one. Yep. Uh, you gonna have to, you have anything more scheduled yet? I have an old friend whose daddy started Coffee Call. Okay, that would jo- be a John Canatella, who's okay, also yeah. a Hall of Fame musician. Okay. And uh, Joe Shave and I were in Coffee Call of the morning for a minute, mm-hmm. and I was reintroducing Joe mm-hmm. to John, and Joe said. John, why don't you let Shepard have book signings in here? That would be perfect. In the morning. Yeah. And John said, um, 
I've been asked a lot before that, and I've, I've never agreed to that or said yes to mm-hmm. it. But for Mike, I would. Well, there you go. And where's Coffee Call these days? Because I know College Drive. Moved. College Drive. Well, it was on College Drive over there by, uh, well, they had the old Chinese restaurant there now. It's gone from there now. Where is the new place? Same place. Same place back in there? Chinese restaurant. It's a Mexican buffet. Okay, well, it changes from time to time. but uh, It's right next to Office Depot. Is it a 90 okay. to it? Coffee call right back in there. So that's uh, there's a name for that. They have the big uh, Albertsons down there, and they have a Walmart, and then it's right yeah, up in it's, that. It's a Walmart Coast Center, <clears throat> a Walmart Center on College Drive. When will you be uh, going over there? You think? I don't know. I got to go get with John and okay, discuss them. I'm be out at um, John Schneider's. Okay. Bo Stravaganza. Okay. On April tenth. April tenth, and where's that going to be held? At his place, at his on, place in Holden, on in Holden, Florida Boulevard. Straight down Florida Boulevard, Holden. Yep. Okay, that's going to be nice. Okay. I think so, because John's a hustler. The 10th and the 11th. 10th and the 11th, okay. Well, yeah, we got that we from a good source 11th. over here off camera. <laughs> if we go to the 11th. <clears throat> well, you may run out of books before then, but hopefully not. They'll well, take I think, advance orders in that I case. I think okay? John will put this stuff in his store. Yeah. Okay. That would be great right there. Yeah. You know, so that's fantastic. John's, John is a super guy. Mm-hmm. Okay, for those of you who may not know, we're talking about John Snyder, who was in the Dukes of Hazard. He does movies now. He's got a studio right here in Holden, Louisiana, not very far away. And uh, he has been with Mike. And uh, we're going to have a chance to see the 11th of April. Mm-hmm. So that's coming up in two or weeks. The, or the 10th. The 10th, the 10th, and, the 10th. The 10th and the 11th of April. We're for sure going to go on the 10th. Yeah. And if it goes, mm-hmm. if I'm not too tired to move. <laughs> Okay, well, hopefully the sales will spur your energies and you'll be there. Yeah. So lots of people need to come out and see this book, get a chance to thumb through a copy, and then realize why you need one yourself. So we need the Louisiana yeah. Music Hall of Fame dot org, and then also Mike at L M A O H L M H O L. My dyslexia is to be in here, <laughs> but you check out there to get a copy of this fantastic book. And being the writer accepted. Mm-hmm. The book is really great. There you go. And you can humbly said flip through it. The pictures are really selected. Mm -hmm. And it's not it covers the whole Hall of Fame Mm -hmm. and all my shows that I did before it. Mm -hmm. Which was several years. Twenty years. Well you had you had places, you you had shows, you had the the Bossagogo down there on Florida Boulevard. And I'll say again, I did not make the name. Okay. <laughs> okay, but you had Independence Hall. It was, of course, it was Lakeshore Convention Center back in those days. Yep. You were part of the celebration of life. You had the celebration of what, Man and Man and Earth Festival, Man and Earth, Man Earth, 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 Earth. Springs. Yeah. So there have been a lot of things he's been associated with. Some of the great bands he's been associated with. Not only some of the big names from out of this area, but also Eternity's Children. That was a band you were involved with. Very much. And, uh, they made it all the way from right here in Baton Rouge all the way out to Dick Clark's American Bandstand. And that alone puts a mark on things. <laughs> so this is an exciting moment because you guys all have an opportunity to take advantage of this particular book right here and the CD, or soft copy should you so desire. So we'd look forward to having you guys get in touch with Mike, and we will place up on the screen the address for you to be able to get a copy. And... I want to thank Mike for coming by here again to promote his book. And we may even have a book signing right here one day at Live Music. I think we need to. We need to do that. We'll have to do it in the morning, though, because you don't do it in the evenings. Nobody okay, comes out here anymore. The one I did Saturday mm-hmm. okay. was in Walker. Oh, okay. And that was a mom and pop music yep. store. You're the closest thing to that in Baton Rouge. That's a mom and grandpa music store okay, <laughs> now, okay? But. Uh, we will allow, we'll put those dates up if we decide to get that going, and we will be in touch. So definitely, we look forward to uh, having you guys come by. Check out this book. You all need to go to the website and check out Mike's Mike's website here with the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame, but also to check out this fantastic book. So I want to thank Mike again for coming by, and we look forward to you guys checking him out and his book. This is something for everybody to appreciate. Thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to check us out at uh, Baton Rouge's Live Music on YouTube. Also, Baton Rouge's Live Music on Facebook. And soon, hopefully, on Instagram and a variety of other social media sites as we get growing. So thank you all very much for watching. Go check out this book. You'll love it. 
Thanks again. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome.